exploring, understanding, and celebrating the natural world of the San Francisco Bay Area. Bay Nature on the Air. The sand hills are a unique ecosystem that are found only on outcroppings of sand soil in central Santa Cruz County. Sand soil was derived from Miocene marine sediments that were laid down about 15 million years ago when this area was underneath an ocean. And as a result of uplift and changes over time, it's given rise to the Zayanti soil, which has, supports this unique community of plants and animals that are found nowhere else in the world. Sand soil is really key to what makes the sand hills, plants and animals occur here and the communities so unique. There are seven endemic species that have been described in the sand hills. There are the Ben Lomond spine flower, the Santa Cruz wallflower, the Ben Lomond buckwheat, and the silverleaf manzanita. The three animals are the Mount Hermon June beetle, the Zayanti band winged grasshopper, and the Santa Cruz kangaroo rat. It's important to note though that these are just the tip of the iceberg as there's many species of plants um, and especially insects that have never been described. You'll know you're in the sand hills when you see the very light coloration of the Zayanti sand soil. It's very light gray, very bright. Here's a fossil uh, sand dollar that you can, one of many fossil marine organisms you can find in the sand hills that evidence their marine origins. I always marvel that you can find an intact sand dollar uh, that's 15 million years old when I have a hard time finding an intact sand dollar when you go to the beach today. So this is the Santa Cruz wallflower. It's found nowhere else in the world. And it's pollinated, as you can see here, by the Chalcedon checkerspot butterfly. It's an important pollinator for this rare plant. When you have places like this in the sand hills where we have high concentrations of plants, animals that are on the verge of extinction, they represent really important opportunities to conserve biodiversity. As a resident of Santa Cruz County, I like to think we can think globally and act locally by working to conserve biodiversity in this, my own backyard.